Hey there everybody, Matt Carter here. And Jessica Carter. This video is our preview for the Manifest Season 2 finale, airing on Monday night entitled Icing Conditions. Also could be titled, Either People Are Going to Die or Maybe We Will Figure Out Some Actual Clues as to what is going on with the death date. That is kind of a long title. Yeah, I feel like and now that we're into Season 2, we're at the end of Season 2, it's about time that we had some sort of answers about the death date. I'm a little bit worried here, though. I... Poor Zeke. Yeah, the, the, why you gotta do Zeke like this? I, mean, just, I know. He just got married. Like, shouldn't he be happy? But instead, it's like, oh, yeah, you got married. Oh, by the way, now Cal is kidnapped, and uh, you have no real chance to enjoy that. Well, like, yeah, like, there wasn't enough going on already. <laughs> yeah, I know. We'll talk about everything that could be coming up and uh, kind of describe some of our hopes and also... <laughs> Could there be a cliffhanger? Probably. But anyway, before we dive in further, if you guys do like this video, remember to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any other updates we've got coming up. We will have more on the finale very, very soon. I guess to start, though, just a quick little bit of information for anyone out there curious. It does seem like Manifest got to complete its season as planned. I know there are a lot of shows out there that did not have a chance to do that because of everything that is going on. You will see a conclusion to this season, but then the question becomes, is it a conclusion or a conclusion, otherwise known as a ah moment where you're like that at the TV for about five minutes? Well, this is manifest, so I expect there to be that moment where we're going to have a lot to talk about this summer. Probably so. And I, I, I think the big story, I, I, I'm not trying to discount Cal here, and I'm not trying to discount Sanvi going to the major and maybe wanting help there, but Zeke, will he live or will he die? Now, here's the thing about it. I really like Zeke. I yeah. like him so much. I like the character so much. I like the actor so much. And I've loved his story on this. Obviously, the show's done a very good job building up Zeke. If this show really wanted to take a huge swing at the fences here with this whole death date and really put some skin in the game to make it so that us as viewers started to get really worried about Michaela, really worried about Ben and everyone else. I hate to say it, but they need to kill Zeke. It needs to happen. If they figure this out now, then everybody's saved. And wh where's the rest of the mystery that's going to kind of be going on? Just that urgency that they really need to figure it out. It's sort of an either or. It's, it's like, do you want your viewers to be happy or do you want to actually prolong the mystery and in turn make a lot of people really really upset yeah because if he goes i'm not gonna be happy i'm not no. gonna be on here being like yay we get rid of this guy but like really we went through all of this Michaela just married the guy we went through the cliffhanger last season where it seemed like he could be shot but if you do keep Zeke around, then it did. it is, like you said, it's a situation where maybe they have actually figured out how to stop the death date. And yeah, I mean, I guess what works for Zeke doesn't necessarily work for everyone else. But still, it gives the show a lot more leeway moving forward. Yeah, I mean, th the thing is, is as long as the death date is stopped then the rest of the mystery around why did this all happen, whatever, is just, it has a lot less pressure behind it because then it's just sort of like, okay, well, let's learn about stuff. Let's figure it out. And that's, that's cool or whatever. But they can all go on with their lives and decide to never look back at it. And it makes no difference. So killing Zeke... <laughs> Uh, it pains me to say that. Okay, so killing Zeke is something that would actually put a lot of skin in the game for the rest of the group that are then stuck in this position where it's like, oh man, okay, we've already seen this death date come and go for Zeke and we lost him. So what is this going to mean for us? We Now the pressure's really on for everybody. <laughs> If they want to do some real emotional hand wringing here, and I don't think they're going to do this because I don't know how the mechanism would come about, but what if there was sort of some, some sort of mystical way where they're sort of like, you guys can save five people from the death date, oh! 
and then you have to sort of pick, and then it's like, do you have Zeke be one of them? I, they're not. I don't think they're gonna do that. I don't know how that would even work on the no, show. No, I don't know either. It's something that, like, if we're thinking about what are just the weirdest, craziest twists they could throw at us, it's a part of it. But here's another emotional thing for Michaela. It's like if you're Michaela at this point, what do you do? Do you put your time into trying to figure out a way to save Zeke? Or do you go and try to find a way to save Cal, who is kidnapped? Yeah, it's a it's a real situation that she's in because Zeke basically only has one day left to live. Like it is, this is this is it, mm-hmm. one day. So is she just going to have to accept that that's what's going to happen to him and go looking for Cal? Or like, I mean, Cal's life is on the line as well. You've got two people that she loves that lives are on the line. It is going to be very interesting to see which direction she ends up going in. If there's going to be maybe somebody back trying to figure things out with Zeke while she figures out what's going out with Cal. Is Jared going to be out there helping? I mean, there is a big group of people around. Yeah, and hopefully she can just lean on some of them. I know there's a sneak peek out there already that is sort of Ben, and we're seeing Ben and Grace sort of react to what's going on with Cal, and yep. they're very upset. And I, I, I fully understand. This is a very dire situation, but I'm also like, guys, okay, I know you're upset. You're upset at Michaela, but come on, let's just all get out there and let's do the job. Let's like we can get mad later, and I think they will be getting out there really fast. And if they combine their powers. Maybe they can figure this out. Yeah, I was, I mean, I understand Grace's reaction, why she's as mad as she is, but this isn't Michaela's fault. I mean, she's in a meth den trying to, like, take these guys down. Yeah, some mystical voice in her head is like, let these dealers go. But, like, why would you do that? She's a cop. They're terrible people. They're killing people. Like... No, I think that, yeah, she decided to ignore the voices, but this feels like a a good time to do that. Yeah. It sucks that obviously this happened with Cal, but come on, guys, you let him go out in the middle of the night on the front lawn and start going around with these sparklers. That's also on you guys. This is... This is not a situation that anyone could have controlled. This is what I'm really trying to say. This is nobody's fault. I hope that eventually they will sort of come to terms with that and just be like, oh, you know what? We should just actually just try to get out there and save Cal. And I'm sure they will do that at some point sooner rather than later. But, you know, I think the biggest question mark for me is where Sanvi sort of fits in with everything else because she's going to the major. And I I do not believe asking the major for anything is like high on the priority list for anyone. But if the major is sort of the key, then... I get it, but can you really trust the major with anything? Well, the real the real question for me is, is why would the major help her? What does she have to gain? She doesn't have anything to gain from it. She already got what she wanted. She wanted the research. She's found her own way of making this research work. So Sophie doesn't have anything to offer her. The only possible thing that I could see is if Sophie's offering up herself. Yep. And that there needs to be some sort of human trial on whatever's going on on one of these, you know, passengers and zombies like take me sort of thing. So unless that's where we're going, then I don't really know what else she has to offer. Well, I believe that is exactly where we're going to go. So I, I think that is the astute observation because I, I think the only thing Sanvi has is herself, either as a test subject or as a researcher. And she can be like... If you do what I want, I will do anything for you. And then the Major will have Sanvi, and I think that is a compelling sort of way to further her story going into Season 3. The only other thing I can think of is that Sanvi, in some ways, in order to help Zeke, is going to offer up Zeke. Because if they're sort of in a situation where they need a human test subject, and he's about to die anyways, and there's a possibility that the Major has something that can save him, that Zeke may decide to be like, yeah, I will do this because I have one day left. And, you know, if she's got an actual breakthrough, then let's have at it. I think we're all going to be very nervous after this finale ends for a number of different reasons. I think, number one, we're probably getting a big cliffhanger. Number two, 
the show's kind of on the ratings bubble, and I think this is going to be one of those shows that is going to be kind of down to the wire in May, and it's going to like stress us all out religiously for days on end, which is why I'm saying now, tell your friends, tell your tell your uncle with the Nielsen box to put it on and just watch it, like do whatever you can to keep the show active stay engaged watch it on your dvr streaming if you want i i still think there's a chance at another season i think this finale is going to make us one another season because i don't think it's going to be tied together at all oh absolutely just tell everybody how good this show is and to tune in that is the way for us to have our own future we do not want the manifest death date to be on monday so let's try oh my goodness. to find That's a way so dark. it is but you know <laughs> we're about reality here at the channel and so i i want to see it back for a season three and i'm sure you guys do too but yep. anyway we will wrap up this preview but what do you guys want to see on the manifest season two finale give us your theories your predictions in the comments and if you guys do like this video Remember to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to support us more, check out the link in the description to the store, and we'll see you here next time.